I'm going to show you how to check for homoscedasticity, which is an assumption about the residuals of your data in a multiple regression model. So homoscedasticity, here, this is the one on the left here. If you, if you drew a best fit line through here, it, most of the dots, which is actual data, right? Um, what do we call it? Observed data would be pretty much the same distance away from the best fit line right across this x-axis. So again, if you drew a circle around it, it would look like a cigar. So the distance is relatively the same across the line. But if you look to the one on the right, this is not homoscedastic. Difficult to say, worse to spell. This is heteroscedasticity. In other words, as the, as the x value increases, you'll notice that the spread of the actual data increases. Right? It gets wider and wider. And so if I drew a circle, if I drew a figure around this, it would look more like a pizza, right? a slice of pizza, which means that the farther out you go on the x-axis, the residuals get farther apart. So that means there's something wrong with the model. Okay, So homoscedasticity is an assumption. I'm going to show you how to do it right now in SPSS. So let's go take a look. So here's our model again. Uh, weight loss is the DV, and the predictors are exercise, calories, and minutes setting. And again, in this just in this video, we're just going to check homoscedasticity. So you would go to analyze, regression, linear, and our DV is weight loss, and hours, calories, sitting. And so all we're going to do is this. We're going to go to plots. The Z predicted is the x-axis. The Z residuals are the y-axis. And since these things are all z-scores, the best fit line is going to be where x equals zero. So it's like the x-axis. And again, that's because it's been standardized. But let me show you how to do this. Click OK. There is your output. We only want to look at the scatter plot down here somewhere. There it is, scatter plot. So you double click on that. It pulls up the chart editor. There's the scatter plot of all the data. So we go to this little icon here, the one that's got a right angle. This is the best fit line. And then we add the lowest line, right? The lowest line, Superman's girlfriend, lowest line, joke. And we're hoping that that line should be flat and smooth. Again, if, it, if this data was homoscedastic, we would have a nice, flat, smooth line that would be practically parallel to the x-axis. And as you can see, it's not. This one has a nasty curve that goes up. So I would assume that this data did, in fact, violate the assumption of homoscedasticity uh, a little bit. Right there, there are no models that tell you if it's significantly violated or not, but this one did because this line, again, the lowest line is not straight and flat. So I hope that helps. MGZ out.